Onder een tien. Zeerdig. Remmen, 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 remmen. Goed ingestuurd, perfect, perfect. made it too on the planning check up on the car yeah. and uh, go through navigational terms yeah and sign off on the correct terms so yeah. we don't um, confuse each other while we are driving I think exactly. that's uh, an extra point for tonight and yeah. one of the biggest tip today Frank was don't drive too fast only give full throttle ah, yeah. when you when have the when it's worth it when it's worth it to give full throttle yeah yep I got the message. <laughs> <laughs> Looks all fine, except a uh, bit of sand. So we only lost one mud flap, that's it. And some uh, fender, uh, fender flares. Fender flares, some rubber. We lost them, so we don't need them. Everything you lost, you don't need, right? In a 900 meter flow, links, so we're going to go on We knew this was maybe going to happen one day. This is the first longer stage, so the first day with more than 300 kilometers. I think, yeah, we've driven around an hour, uh, 50 kilometers, and we had a little nosedive on the first, on the first little sand dune on the road. Uh, a big smack, so we stopped the car and had a look. The uh, skid plate took a massive hit. Biggest issue is that the fork of the suspension on this side took a massive hit. It's a bit bent. Not nothing much that we could do. At, we were not speeding. We were not fast. It's just deep buff. Yeah, we didn't. Uh, yeah, we didn't respond to the terrain. Yeah, too late. Okay, I looked at it again after a few minutes of breathing. So it's not over yet. It's not over yet, Frank. If you see it, it's just ridiculous how small it is. This little fucker... Just go on the whoop. Fuck. You can see that this is where we nosedived. Think we're gonna drive to the bivac and then we're gonna find the bolts. Bend stuff back where it should be. At its place. And tomorrow another day we're gonna drive again. This is what rally is all about. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see how sleeping will work on a bivouac with a lot of um, straight pipes. People are still testing their vehicles of all the repairs they done. There you go. Let's go to sleep. Ciao, mi amigos. Lots of sand, lots of getting stuck.
the wise decision of slowly crawling to the nearest town to find help, to find spare parts. So now we are in Tatawin with a car that's barely rolling with a random mechanic we found on the street who is trying to arrange for us a spare part from Tunis because of course we chose the most uncommon car in Africa in Africa so uh, there should be a spare part in Tunis but that's gonna possibly arrive tomorrow morning we decided we needed some adventure and here we go we, we got some adventure, adventure. Yeah, why are we here? Right. What are we doing here? In the middle of the rally on day four. And today our goal is to find a new shock. Our bad boy here. We need a new shock. If we can find one. We hope so.
So Frank, we're, uh, we made it to the finish line. At the end, we finally made it. Not everything went as smooth as we thought it would be. It was pretty hard, honestly. One of my neighbors, a uh, navigator of, of one of the teams, said it really well earlier. Like, it doesn't matter if you ride the race, it doesn't matter if you finish the race or, or whatever, fix the car, not fix the car. It's all about character building and the correct mindset every time. Every setback is a push to a new new phase, a new step. Every everything, every moment that goes wrong, you have to look back, rethink, evaluate, and just keep on going. And this is uh, one of the important things that we we noticed during the week that we're pretty strong people and we can keep pushing and keep pushing. And now we're just tired, but we are here. We made it till the end point. But every time it didn't go well and there was challenges, we always said, well, this is what we were looking for. And in a way, it's true. Like, we we wanted to join a rally raid. And we did. And we did it in our way. And we learned from it. And maybe next time we'll join, we'll, we'll do it different. Yeah. But nobody can take away from us that we tried our best to, to join this rally raid. And, and we are here. And we've tried to spend every day we could on the bivouac. And yeah. every day we could on the track, and um, it, it was just unfortunate, and that happens. It, That's it. It is what it is. It we is could have gone home five days ago, but we didn't. Yeah, a lot we of would people. Have, uh, and we would have gone home, and then maybe yeah. reset, and then come back next year, and things like that. But no. Yeah. But uh, at least you know we 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 kept on pushing here, and we we did everything we could. So. I'm, I, for some reason, I don't want to give up. Even though I want to give up at the same time, I still want to see a Cayenne under my ass on a rally. On a rally. And it doesn't matter if we break down. No, no. If next time we, we do one more day of driving, then that's a win. That's a win. It's always a win. Whatever achievement is a win. So why not do it again, right? Why not do it and push it again? So push push ourselves to the limit. It's what we wanted. It's what we saw. If we want to see this as a learning experience, uh, it yeah. doesn't end here. It doesn't end here. Team Loki. Peace out. Team Loco. Another day we're gonna drive again. Who can put it on the slack push packer? Give the slack a pack. Was that not what I was looking for? Not that one.